Well, it's that time again. Hello everyone, this is LW Gaming, and welcome back for another Langlister M video. Today's video, we're gonna take a look at what was happened uh, in the in this major update installment. Today is March 30th, meaning this the marks the day of the of the new major update. So, anyways, this update brings two new characters. Uh, we got Grand Shield and the and the new duo uh, unit. Uh, we haven't had that for a long time. Last time we we got the duo unit was Jero and Layla. Now we got another duo unit. Uh, Joa and Connie are now in the game. So, anyways, a lot I know a lot of you might be saying Grinchio is the star of the banner, which I believe she is because she is a uh, she's a strategic master faction buffer and also a bruiser, to to be exact. Like she can she can be a flyer too. Like she can be infantry or flyer, based on what I know so far. And Joe and Connie isn't that bad either. It's just a niche, uh, niche unit. Like they they do line AOE, but however, in a in an interesting pattern because like you know their line AOE isn't exactly like um, isn't exactly like a three line AOE. I mean it does, but however, on certain tiles it's just one line, and then the and then the further back will be three lines. I know it sounds weird, but I mean I, that's what I saw on the on the CN trailer that I uploaded on my channel. So that that's why I'm that's why I think of from there. So let's see what else we have. We also got the the returning of the Downlight Basin. This is the tower defense uh secret realm event. So to those guys to those guys who are the fan of uh, tower defense in Languister, uh you uh, you'll you'll be glad that this event has returned. So you you guys can enjoy it once more, and also there's another secret round event available as well, which is a uh, forbidden battleground. So if you if you actually need some resources from forbidden battleground, uh, now is the good time to get them, because there are some good rewards you can you can claim for yourselves. Uh, we also got new gate of fates, of course, for new characters, uh, Grunhild and uh, Joe and Connie. And then we also got new troops joining the training ground. Uh, we got the uh, we got we got new troops like the deck the deck gunner which is the archers and the war falcon which which are the flyers. We'll look into that as soon as we can. And also some new gift packs available, which we'll look into soon. Okay, and we got some awakening skills. I mean, this is nothing new. They always do this to every new characters now, so no one is missing out on this kind of stuff. Okay, the casting skills available for the following characters. We got Lambda, Claret, Lamford, and Vargas. And then the Secret Room exclusive, we got the we got Werner, which is the headgear. And Azusa also headgear. Okay, yeah, I, I thought it was accessory, but no. It's headgear. Yeah, to those guys who are curious of what gear Azusa exclusive is, it's actually headgear. Yeah, my mistake. I should have seen that coming. I mean if it's like a hairpin, I wouldn't I should have known it was a head headgear. Oh my goodness. And also the luck confession for this update is Ashamar, as we said in the future languager. The heart bonds unlock for new characters. Okay. Uh, the the figuring wall. I don't think anyone care about that. So let's uh, move on from that. Uh, let's see. Optimize equipment upgrades and start upgrade. Added a one-click upgrade function which can display the highest level of upgrade materials, gold and attribute changes that can be enhanced by the current upgrade suit material. Huh. Alright. Optimize class advancement. Add a one-click advancement fa function which can display the highest level that can be strengthened by the current class and can quickly purchase advanced materials. Mm -hmm. And then added art and SR barracks materials to the guild store. Yep, we we actually mentioned about that in the previous video about the future languister. Optimize the display of the number of items on the bond upgrade interface. When the number of items exceeds 999, the specific number will no longer be displayed. Huh. When the number of items exceeded, exceeds 999, the specific number will no longer be displayed. Hmm. I honestly don't know what that is, but we'll, we'll go in game and see what what's going on. 
And speaking of in-game, I'm gonna log into my to a different account than what I'm used to because you know I'm not planning to summon the, those new units on the main account because I'm saving those for for like a you know a, a better major update and for a different major update I mean. So we're gonna we're gonna examine all those changes on this account instead. So let's take a look. Oh my goodness, my throat is killing me. All right. Anyways, um, first off, let me do this real quick because uh, it has it has twenty shards. There should be enough to get me a runestone. Let's see. Uh, let's look for an item that has nine hundred ninety nine something. I think it is the bond thing, but uh, I I don't think I'll be able to see it here. So yeah, I mean, we'll figure it out when when I when there's when there's a chance. Oh yeah, I, once you log in, make sure you claim your rewards. Like for example, uh, share for re share for rewards. This this always occurred every major update, so be sure to do so before uh before you forget. And of course, don't forget to claim it in the info tab to get this because uh, every major update gives you five trinity vouchers, which is very important. And also some other things. Uh, yep, they're not related to the video, by the way. All right, and also Apex of Battle is still going on, and this will this will stay on until the 9th of uh, of f April. And of course, this major they brought in the new units, which we'll be summoning shortly. We also got Echo of Light. So to those good, to those guys who want who needs the who likes to spend money uh, with, on whichever, uh, there you go. This is the one you what you want. And they'll give you some excellent skins for your characters. At least the new ones and some old ones. Let's see what are the old ones. Uh, we got the... We got uh, for Paul Yaw. We also got one for Lugner. Wow, Wheeler too. As well as uh, Betty. Okay, for Ben Battleground. We already mentioned about that one. Dawnlight Basin as well. And uh, these banners are old banners. So nothing to worry about. Oh yeah, speaking of which, let's go in the store and see what we got here. Okay, these skins we already seen. So yeah, there's no, no need to look into that. Alright, we got the Calorie Eliminator. This one... Yeah, okay. Uh, this one costs 42 bucks. I don't really think this is worth it, but if, you, if you're if you a big spender, then yeah, sure. But this will give you like 10, 10 training vouchers. Which is not bad, but however, do you do you think that's worth it? Probably not. If you just there just for vouchers, then yeah, this is not worth it. Glory casters gift gift pack, uh, casting patterns, Apex salute. Uh, this one can only be a one time for three bucks. For some arena stones, uh, mastery stones, and some rare enchantment gift packs. Okay. We also got the Sky Strider gift, which is thirty-four bucks. This one have this one includes two uh two of these selection packs. But however, you can only pick one of these actually. Uh, the the Ragnarok Bone Crusher, Hammer Extreme Magic Bow Lurker String. Okay, <clears throat> that's the weapons. And these are the armor. Uh, Last right, Forbidden Defender's armor, Alliance robe, and Cloak of Defiance. Uh, for just thirty-four bucks, this can be bought twice. So if you want all these gears, like if you want uh, like two different versions of the the kind of equipments, uh, that is actually you really need to consider if you want to buy it because you know these are, aren't cheap. And same goes to Starlight Blessing. This one gives you the the other half, the, the other the other two that. You, Within the equipments, so we got the we got the headwear for uh, the Nidor's uh, feather crown, uh, Fury of Tear, King's crown, Flower Bloom bonnet. All right, and then the accessories we got the Overlord badge, Apex boots, Judge Talisman, and Twilight Star. So if you need these, uh, if you need these gear, I will probably just say. I will probably just uh, use use this gift pack if you if you want those uh, Apex boots because those ones are actually hotcakes right now. 
when it comes to like low mobility units. They are very they're very uh they can make use of the apex boots in the long run. Because uh apex boots grants them attack, not just mobility increase. Just a little FYI. We also got Nomi's hand, stitch bag. This one uh this one costs around three bucks. Uh, this one gives you a small amount of resources like Trinity Crystals, which is 98, 28 skin vouchers, and 2 Trinity vouchers. Not bad deal if you ask me. This can only be about one time though. We also got the Ace Striker Order. I think this was uh, here previously or something, but I mean this is on a different account so I wasn't sure which ones new and which ones are not. Yeah, there's so many of them, but I'm worried that it might just be a repeat of the old packs that we got before. So I'll leave the rest of the gift packs to your imagination. Because, you know, anything like, I would say around like 20 bucks, but with a good value, that's worth that's worth your money. But however, if it's over that amount, but if you're just looking for something that's something specific, I would say don't don't do it. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, and speaking of soldiers, let's take a look what we got. So we got new soldiers for Archer and I believe Flyer. So let's take a look where they are. Uh, they are definitely not in this training. Okay, they are most likely. Hold on, where are they? I'm I'm pretty sure they're somewhere in the training area. Hmm. Unless I'm missing something. Ah, there they are. Okay, they, we got the deck gunner here. We don't. I don't have access to this on my ult yet because, you know, my ult uh, soldier training isn't isn't the brightest. And yeah, it is missing a lot of uh, art materials. Kind of embarrassing, if you ask me. And we also got some new things for flyers as well. Let's see, where is that f flyer? Okay, here it is. The War Falcon. We can actually access this at least, so that is a good sign. So yeah, let's see what the soldier does. Uh, this is the this is the one I currently have. So when fighting with an enemy whose mobility is not greater than this unit, attack and defense increase by twenty percent. If the hero's class type is flyer, takes twenty percent decrease damage when actively attacking. Oh, that sounds pretty. That sounds pretty good. But however, only a few selected units can use these. <clears throat> however, one thing that surprised me is that Elwyn and Leon can use this soldier. And also Lance too. <clears throat> so yeah, I guess some free-to-play units are gonna, ha are gonna be happy about this. And speaking of which, let me see what that what the soldier does. Oh my goodness, where is it? Okay, right here. So let me see what this does at default. So it increases the soldier's attack by 10%. When actively attacking, if either this unit or the enemy is on defensive terrain, 5% of the enemy's defense is ignored for this battle. Okay, so basically if you're in the defensive terrain or if the enemy is in the defensive terrain, the uh, certain amount of def defense will be ignored. Which it is pretty pretty interesting to see because it allows you to deal damage, but however, without worry about the full defense they have. <clears throat> Anyways, by the time of this recording, I think the my main account can actually access those soldiers. So, so yeah, my old account is the only one that cannot access the the new the new uh, archers, which is fine because uh my my old account's purpose is just uh, there to fill in some gaps, as well as be a personal trainer of mine. And now let's take a look at what's going on within the summoning page. Uh, so anyways, this banner lasts for the entire major update. So so yeah, if you're still missing certain characters, uh, the this is the banner that will stay for the rest of the major update until it goes away. Once it goes away, uh, be, be ready for the next collab. The next collab, which is the Trails in the Dark collab or Kuno no Kiski collab. So anyway, transitioning to the to the summoning screen, as you can see here, these are my summoning targets. But I'm only gonna go for one of them. So if I manage to pull one of them, uh, I'll be dipping out. But however, if I did end up getting a on banner 
within the you know w within if I still have like 100 w worth of holes, uh, I'll I'll continue. But if not, I'll I'll stop. So anyways, let's let's get to it. First ten. Ooh, I'm nervous. All right, let's begin. Okay, nothing here. All right, all right, here's 20. Nothing here. Okay. How about 30? Hmm. Okay, 30. Let's see. What do we have here? Ah, uh, nothing. Alright, here's 40. Okay, come on, Z-Long. And, uh, nothing here. Hmm. How about 50? Wow, really? Still nothing? Oh, shoot. Okay, I meant to skip, not not tap. <laughs> Alright, 60, we're gonna burn some crystals here. Let's see. Alright, we're over halfway up from the pity bar, so we gotta be aware of what are the worst possibilities. Okay, here is 70. Oh boy, I have a bad feeling that we might end up getting the pity, but let's hope not. Uh, let's see what let's see what's happening here. Still nothing here. Okay. How about 80? And uh, nothing here, okay. 80, nothing in 80. How about 90? Still nothing. Yeah, that's the worst case scenario. Pity rate, huh? Oh well, let's see who are we getting for this one. Oh man. Come on. This is this is uh I would say is this um <clears throat> Jerome Connie or Grand Shield? Let's find out. And I've I have a bad feeling this could be an off manner. Which uh let's hope it doesn't happen like this. Let's see. Come on. What what is the who who's here? Well. Dang, okay. I honestly did, I honestly did not expect this. Hmm. Well, I mean, I shouldn't be mad, but still. It is a little disappointing. Like I have, se I got sentence of the arc, but however, the thing is, uh, this character did not ever appear on my on my alt account at all. So this is technically new for me, at least. Honestly, 
I, I, I will be mad, but at the same time, I'm okay with this. So yeah, uh, I did not get anybody on the summon target, so eh, sad. Whatever. So yeah, uh, that's a summoning for you. I, I'm not gonna continue any further because I do not have enough for the for the pity. Therefore, I'm gonna reserve my resources for later. So, anyways, um, hope you all uh, find this uh, summoning entertaining. <coughs> Nevertheless. And uh, see you all next time.